everyone's trying to figure out how they can make money, right? You say tools. Now, when you work in EDM, you're making parts, but there's no longer a real expensive work holding setup or a whole bunch of cutting tools. So we're reducing costs of those setups as well by utilizing this wire, right? Hello my friends and welcome back to MTD CNC. I am in India today and I'm so excited to be here with my friends at Philips and Subu. We're gonna learn a bit more about EDM. For the audience out there right now who wants to learn a little bit more about EDM, pay close attention. We're gonna educate you onto why you might want to invest some of your technology into EDM and then we're gonna move into the specifics of some of these machines. So I'm excited to be here. Subu, thank you so much for being a part of MTD, my yeah. friend. Hi, Tony, yeah. So, well, welcome to India and to Philips. So, regarding this Philips EDM, what I am going to mention right now, this is the, one of the technology which is going to be used in plastic molding, even medical or aerospace, where the other machine processes can't be done. Their EDM technology is used for finishing those products. And in this one, there are different types of machines, that is like uh, is ZNC EDM and CNC EDM, or fast wire EDM or normal wire EDMs. Even EDM drill to finish the process. So Well, let's talk to the audience, and we're gonna break this down just a little bit. When I think of EDM, I think of the ability to set something down and walk away from it, and then come back an hour later, a day later, a month later, or however long that project takes, but allows us to run unmanned, so we can get a lot of products done while running other machines. Is that correct? See, yeah, that is right, because uh, in other machines, some product is going to be finished up to 80 or 90 percent, but it will not be 100 percent until the usage of the EDM, especially in plastic moldings. Say, for example, you have done some molds on VMC, but the cutter marks will be there, cutter radius will be there in the corner. It cannot be total sharp. If you want to make total sharp, you should use some electrodes, make it sharp by die sinking and making it sharp corner. So that you can't do in VMC alone. That is true. So we're adding, actually through an EDM, some real precision as well. There's some angles we can't reach. We're trying to add that precision, get that good finish. See, here, uh, the multiple, that is uh, a roughing you can do, but later on for finishing, the strategy, what you are going to use, the process, that is the main criteria, which you're going to use the proper product for your finishing stage. So you are component require medium finish or fine finish that you can decide like that you can use the technology to finish your product. And let's talk a little bit about scrap. EDM really reduces the amount of scrap we create too, doesn't it? Uh, from EDM, the, whatever the scrap generation, the, that is a process where we are going to burn the material. It will burn and get into ashes. In the form of carbon, it will go to come out. Whereas in VMC, it will be like chips, it will go to come out. In EDM, the carbon it is going to come out. So for the same while process, we are going to provide us some coolant flushing, which will going to remove the ashes or carbon from the particular area so that you can provide more current to take out other materials from that place and to finish the process. Here, while going on in deeply in the process, how much you are focusing on the flushing to remove the carbon or something, it will increase the machining process in proper way and it will give the Better results in minimum cycle time. Otherwise, the cycle time is going to increase. Just like in other machine process, you have to take care of your tool with proper coolant or something. Here, same flushing is going to act as a coolant, which will going to remove the carbon and avoid your tool wastage or tool damage, which is a, what we call is the electrode, which is a tool for the process. That's a very valuable point. And you touched on something there I'd like to you elaborate on, if that's OK. For the audience out there, when you mention we're burning, right? EDM is an electrical process. Would you mind just explaining what that process is like when, it's to, when we're talking about that burning process? Yeah. So what do you call is EDM, is electro discharge machining. So basic electrical power, which is going to discharge throughout the job. And what are the small area, which is going to be nearby job and the tool, which is going to discharge heavy spark there, and it is going to burn the material. So normally, every metal is going to have some melting point, say, some, somewhere around 1,000, 1,500 degree melting temperature. When it comes to the medium, the particular point is going to have a burning point of somewhere around 3,000 to 5,000 degrees, only in particular point only, not throughout the job. 
so that uh, particular point creating so much heat it will going to burn the material and remove the material from that particular area and it will going to form the same shape of the tool so our tool should be perfectly okay same shape you are going to get in your replica on the job so how long have you been selling these machines and whereabouts have you been selling them uh, see Phyllis machine tool is having a very good name in machine tool for vmc or other things and we started to catering other tool rooms in EDM segment also. In two years before we started EDM division in Phyllis machine tool. In past two years, and we could have been able to sell around 100 plus machines in Pan India, as well as in Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, as well as in Middle East. So in past two years, even though we have, as a pandemic crisis, with that period also we can able to sell so much machine. It's a good start for us. It is take long time to grow, go on and achieve more business. But in pandemic time, and we achieved this number, it is a good, good number for us. Well, we all love a good challenge, right? And on top of that, Philips here in India is kind of the benchmark for service, isn't it? So when we see that Philips logo, we know we're getting service to go along with anything we purchase. Yeah. Um, our customer believe us in whatever the other machine support what we have given to them. So that's why we are very confident what are the new product we are going to take up. Take it seriously with proper way so that we should support customer in better way and keep our name in customer end as a very good brand, reputed brand. They can give all the support technically, service, for not only for one or two years, it is a long period business. So they can grow easily and with our support and our business can grow by supporting them. Well, we're all planning to have businesses longer than a couple of years, so long-term service is very much needed. So now that we've educated the audience on the principles of EDM, let's take a look at some of these machines, shall yeah, we? Yeah, please, please, please come on. Yeah. Subu, we are now standing in front of one of your incredible EDM machines in your showroom. Would you mind introducing the audience to what type of EDM this is and some of the specific attributes of this one? Yeah, Tony. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is the, one of the EDM series what we are doing in our EDM segment division. So basically this is ZNC series EDM and uh, in this uh, what other technology we are using. It is very good technology which is going to be taking care of arc free machine when it comes for the arcing in the EDM process means whatever the burnout carbon which is going to accumulate it cannot be removed. Then current should not be passed for the secondary process which may create some <coughs> additional burning marks on the surface of the job and spoil the job. So that will not going to happen in this technology, what the technology, what we are using in this machine. And uh, the process, what are the difficult, uh, different uh, types of electrodes, just like small thin rib electrodes or something. It can do without arcing, it will take care, in technology itself take care, how much current it has to be moved for a particular zone to burn out the material and process should be in medium or faster way. Depending upon the carbon flush out, you're going to consider all those things and it will control internally what are the parameter basic, it, it has been provided there. And moving on, the process in such a way that whatever the surface finish after we are getting, it is as good as just like polishing or equal to polishing. Whatever the time required for the secondary process or finishing the job, it will not going to be happen with this machine because it will be as good as finished product, your secondary time for the for the finishing or other uh, completion of the job is going to be avoided by using this machine. That makes sense to me, Subo. And I know the audience always watches and learns about the technology and wants to apply this technology to their machine shops. And the question always comes up, well, how quickly can I pay for it? Will it pay for itself? You know, that kind of thing, right? So when you talk to me, I hear you say, unmanned operation, I hear you say precision, I hear you say doing operations that can't be done on other machines, and I hear you say no secondary operations. So for the audience out there that's learning about this EDM process, specifically this machine, we have the ability to walk away from it, let it run itself, to give us precise parts that are clean so we don't have to put another operation or more workers into it. So this thing kind of just runs itself and when it's done we put it into a box and ship it, right? Yeah, right. Right. So, as I said clearly, what are the precision or the other part of the precise parts or precise words in the technology what we are using in these machines. Say, when it comes for the machining, even less wear out 
and you have to make very less limited tools to finish the operations. Whereas in some other EDM machines, you have to make multiple electrodes to finish the process. So you are going to save cost on making multiple tools for the same job. You, you mentioned tools and now I even have another idea and concept because again, everyone's trying to figure out how they can make money, right? You say tools. Now, when you work in EDM, you're making parts, but there's no longer a real expensive work holding setup or a whole bunch of cutting tools. So we're reducing costs of those setups as well by utilizing this wire, right? Uh, it is a die sinking. Here, wire will not going to be a wire EDM. The other machine, what we are going to explain later, so in, in die seeking, we are going to make a same replica of the profile in copper or graphite material. That is what we call as an electrode. So either copper or graphite, both the metals can be used as an electrode. Depending upon the bigger profile, you will choose graphite because the density of the metal is very less. And bigger profile, it will not going to increase the weight carrying capacity of the machine. It will going to avoid those things. If you say smaller things, you utilize copper because of the cost effectiveness. I got it, and I got it, and now I'm excited because we've already brought it up to go talk about some of the wired EDM stuff. So yeah. thank you so much for sharing this information with the audience. Let's move over and talk to one of your other colleagues about the wire EDM, shall we? Yeah, please, please, Tony. Yeah. Well, now we're in front of this wire EDM, and I'm with my buddy Chandu. We're going to learn a bit more about the specific attributes of this Accutex slash Philips machine. So Chandu, thank you so much. I want to learn more, the audience wants to learn more. Let's talk about the benefits of this wire EDM. Thank you, first of all, thank you, Tony. Uh, this is the machine we have tied up uh, with the Accutex uh, last two years. And uh, all our customers where we have supplied the machine, all are happy with that uh, performance of the machine. Accuracy, unattended operations, and uh, performance basically and uh, mostly all of her customers are satisfied because uh, they are getting the good uh, accuracies desired accuracy i will say and compared to the all reputed brands uh, like many japanese machines many european machines we are uh, our customers are getting that so they are benefited with that this is what is. When I think about EDM, I think about unmanned processes. We've said this before. I think about the reduction of work holding and cutting tools. I think about all the savings that come along with the ability to set it down and just kind of walk away, right? I mean, that's how these machines work. Do your customers find these same benefits? And in addition to that, what else are some of the attributes of this EDM machine? Basically, uh, the customer is needed is a uh, manual less. Ma uh, interference less, I will say. It's a manual interference less uh, working and very easy to operate. And uh, results should be comparable with the whatever you can say with the reputed brands. And all these things are getting on these machines. And these machines, Acutex uh, is catering from the smaller size to bigger size. So the requirement right from the medical equipments to the sheet metal industry, dye and mold, it is scattered with the one machine. You beat me to the question because the next thing I was going to ask is what industries are these great for? Aerospace, are we talking medical? Where do you see the most uh, purchases and interest about these EDM machines? These machines are in the sheet metal industries, aerospace, medical applications, special purpose machines and uh, dye and mold and uh, many more. Now, we obviously have some excited audience members right now. We've gone through the education of EDM. We've spoken now about specific products. So if somebody wants to learn more about how to purchase one of these machines or talk to one of the technicians or talk to one of the sales guys, where could they find you? What's your website? How can they look you up? We are available on uh, www.philipscorp.com uh, is our website where uh, our product range is available. Apart from that, on that, my uh, contact number, email ID is also available. They can directly call to our sales sales team or sales marketing team. That inquiry, they can pass it on or they can directly contact me. This is Perfect. one of the thing. And uh, 
Perfect, Shandu. Well, Shandu's not giving out his home address today, which is probably good for everyone, as much as you guys might want it. This is EDM. This is Philips. You now have the website. Give them a call. Service is the benchmark here in India. Check it out.